In this digital review, we're looking at the digital version of Carcassonne. It is currently available on Steam and iOS. We played it on Steam. That is true. Uh, on a computer, to be precise. That is also true. <laughs> yeah, and, it's, and it is Carcassonne. Yes, it is. A third thing that's true. Uh, if you're not familiar, this is that classic tile-laying game with all that tile-laying action. We're not going to get into the rules of Carcassonne, mm -hmm. but essentially, I'll get into them a little bit, you're taking tiles, you put them down, and depending on where you orient them and where you place your little meeples, you get points. Yes, and as a, quite a shocker, whoever has the most points, Wins. <laughs> yeah, strange how things tend to work out that way. So this is the Steam version. It's brand new. There was an older app that I think was just on mobile devices, mm -hmm. which I had actually played way back in the day. This is kind of much fancier looking at first glance. There's like an isometric 3D angle to it. There's a, obviously there's music. There's yeah online play, there's lots of stuff going on. Yeah, and because this is a digital version, it has all of its sort of shiny new bells and whistles. For example, when you finish completing a city, you'll actually see a city rise up with walls and towers and flags in the color of whoever built it. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, you can. what's really nice is one of the things of Carcassonne is there. you can place a farmer in a field, and depending on what touches the field scores points at the end of the game, you can actually see what the field what actually the field, uh, what area it's actually covering, which is nice in some of those really weird, like little lane parts. Yeah, there's, and in fact, just overall, it, one thing this game does very well is allowing you to track things like that. Uh, what you just said, the fields, as well as how many tiles are remaining, you can even look at exactly which tiles are left, which in a normal game of Carcassonne and on physical, you would have to just remember what's been played or scanned, which is, can be very difficult. Yeah, in addition, there is also showing that if an area is dead, meaning there's absolutely no chance anything can place there. Yeah. Usually around where, where I want things to be built. <laughs> and of course, it shows you where your tile is it's possible for it to be placed. Mm -hmm. So like any good digital version of a game does, this really removes any of the like kind of legwork you have to do. And you don't have to worry about like in real life, oh, I missed that spot, I didn't realize I could play that. It's really nice to just know exactly these are my six spots. I know exactly what I have to work with. It lays that all out for mm -hmm. you perfectly. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's basically the same game as Carcassonne that you know and love. Yeah, in addition, there are currently two expansions available for it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Abbey, which you can get for free if you either register or just log in with your Asmodee account, mm -hmm. and the River. The river currently goes for uh, two... The Abbot. Sorry, the Abbot, not the Abbey. My mistake. <laughs> uh, the Abbot. Uh, the river currently goes for two ninety nine. dollars yeah. uh, on Steam. Mm -hmm. I assume similar prices for iOS. Yeah, sometimes the iOS versions are cheaper, but whatever. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about that. We're talking about Steam, people. Uh, and, uh, and they have said they have plans for more expansions to be released. As we know, Carcassonne has many. Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> so uh, we can look forward to those. Uh, I know, and it's, you know, it's just a base game, Carcassonne is pretty simple. Uh, but so to how I, I mean I thought this was a great adaptation there's not much more that I really could think of to ask for other than more of those expansions in a Carcassonne digital game I think they pretty much hit all the bases that they needed to uh, what, what do you think yeah I do think this is one of the one of the good games to have on a digital version definitely the games that a lot of people would consider gateway games mm -hmm. Because those are the ones that, you know, it's easy to introduce to someone an idea of, we play it on a computer, but like passing around on an iPad or something or mm -hmm. any kind of tablet. A laptop even. Right. Would be very nice, especially introducing new people without having to be like, let me set up the board and stuff. Yeah. One thing that's nice about Carcassonne compared to, for instance, uh, other games we've played like Smash Up Digital, where you have a hand of cards you've got to be looking at. In Carcassonne, there is zero hidden information. So it's much easier to, you could have one, you could even hook this up to your TV. TV, you have one big screen and everybody's just like passing a mouse around or something and you can, there's no reason you don't need to, you can't look at it all at the same time or something like that. Uh, there's also online play of course mm -hmm. and you can have, even have multiple games going at the same time and keep track of them in a little menu. Which is yes, you can easy. say it, uh, I think a 15 was the max day limit. <laughs> 15 days for a time limit on a game if you want. Yeah, there's different options like uh, how many... Uh, players that you mm -hmm. want to have, whether you want to include certain rules or not, that kind of thing. It, this also, it definitely will, goes a lot faster, at least for us it did. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that it could vary because there's, you know, some people still well, are going to no. take forever. Well, but. yeah, I think all, uh, any good digital version is going to help reduce the analysis paralysis, whether it's smash up, for example, telling you the numbers on basis, so you can actually see that beforehand. You don't have to calculate each one slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, this one telling you where you can actually build. 
uh, Catan telling you what, like, you literally are allowed to or not. Let's it's like all of them. <laughs> well, just those three examples, like, yeah. saying that. Like, any of those things that you announce, you're thinking, like, oh, can I put it here? This, It's like, no, these are the four spots. Yeah. This is how you can do it. That's very nice. And, of course, the, no setup time either. Not that mm -hmm. Carcassonne really has much setup time. Uh, no cleanup. It's all, it's all there for you. The graphics look nice. The music is nice. I know some people did not like the... Um, overlay with the buttons they're kind of large we didn't really have a problem with it uh, yeah. there's also a mode where you can just look at it flat head on instead of at an angle yeah I mean want. we played on uh, my computer monitor which I mean it's not small but I don't think it's a like, huge relatively yeah. speaking and of course you can scroll around the field I guess zoom some, in and out too that yeah you can zoom in and out I guess I will say in real life maybe it can be a little easier just to look at a table and be able to scan everything yourself but not that much difference. You you can zoom out, like you said. So uh, it's it's it does a pretty good job. It's also Carcassonne, so you know there's you know in general what's happening around the board. Yeah, yeah. But uh, overall, I mean, like we said, I, I don't think there's anything that they really missed that I would want in a Carcassonne digital game. So pretty much, I think hit the mark. We got some crits and misses for Carcassonne, the digital version. Crits. It's a very pretty game. It has kind of a cinematic look and feel to it. Or you can just do the standard 2D mode if you like. I do love seeing when the cities are complete, seeing them spring up. Yeah, nice animations. It includes online as well as pass and play, and you can have multiple games going at a time. Does a really good job allowing you to track all of the information in the game, including what's on the field and what's remaining in that tile stack. Yeah, honestly, for me, the field thing is so nice because that's always where I'm like, D are we touching here or are you not? And you have to, it just saves so much time. And it includes a bunch of stats for all your games played as well as achievements you can try to get, which is always appreciated. For our misses, the tutorial could have used a bit more help in explaining some maybe more of the UI of the game in addition to the rules. It left us wanting maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, if you already know how to play Carcassonne, you'll be fine. But if you're new to the game, I think it, it really kind of just lets you jump in there without a lot of preamble. This is on the high end of digital board games going for $14.99. And that doesn't include the first expansion, The River, which goes for $2.99. Plus whatever expansions come out in the future, uh, which isn't a terrible price. But I think considering how simple Carcassonne is, like $9.99 would have just been a much more enticing number for me. So those are crits and misses for the Carcassonne digital game. Tell us what you think of it if you've played it or if you're hoping to take a look at it. Yeah, it's available right now on Steam and iOS devices. So get out there, people. Until next time, I'm Jonathan. I'm Will. This is Roll for Crit. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Oh, yeah.